آقا Hello. Hello, I quiz queer. Rick. Maddie Reddy. Magnus Allen. Alien. Hello. Hello, Evo, as well. Hi. We're playing Rovlet today. And I turned off pre cycles. Because it was annoying. <laughs> It was very annoying. Oh, that's the wrong. And Skylar Parrot. Just in this saint now. Nice. You can watch DP content. Nice. How did you like Saint and all that? Um, everyone has a very different experience. I do feel. I believe on 12 seconds we can start moving, which is such a strange... It took a while longer. I don't really understand the beginning, like the corner of it. Nice. I like Saint because it's a different game. And you're back at being unable to fight anything again. Which I think is fun. Hello. My username that is mine. Hello. So I started a bit late today, because for people who are in the, in the main Discord, if you go to the Meta and Tech channel, the first pin, um, we set up the form for people to be able to vote on which remix settings people like, etc. Do with the tongue of panic. Nice. How did you feel about it being different from... Normal gravel mechanics. You eat soup with a spoon. Thank you, I guess. Locavartis. Liked it a lot? Nice. I definitely think the decisions to make what Saint does make it a bit easier for newer players. I was pressing the wrong button. Jump out of the grapple is very useful. The one annoying thing is that you always have to jump out of the grapple. I'm going to say. My weird hands. Why does this gate have to be Karma 5? Is it the only thing I have to say? used to it definitely better. I think that's generally the thing. There's definitely a lot of details about the downpour in general. This guy, Karma Cash, I hate it too, but it's Karma 5. Oh. Little data expunged. And we start with Karma 1. I feel like you should start with Karma 3 so you can go into outskirts. Or Karma 2, at least. I guess you can go to straight to outskirts anyway, sleep once. Morning, runners filling out the form. Um, fill out the form if you want. We'll take who actually fills it out per thing into account. So don't worry about it too much. Uh, if you want to say something, do it. The only thing that I want you to do is actually read the document that explains what all the things do, because a lot of people don't really understand what they do. So in the Meta and Tech channel, there's the form for 
which remix settings we'll be allowing for the speed run and score run. Anyone can fill them out if they want. I can post it in chat in just a bit. Right now, actually. Uh, time. Uh. As I am in that gutter shelter. Hello. How's it going, Von? Well, we're playing the Rovlin. Very debatable. Well, depends on who you ask. Um, it's not going to fully decide anything. We just want to see what people think right now about everything. We are. Li I need to dodge this. We're likely going to allow you having the ability to have most things on or off. Except for actual, like, major changes. What was that? What do you mean? That's a, that's a dev commentary. Um, which will completely stop me in my tracks. I, I still have dev commentary on. This room is annoying, I have found. I do like how there's poles on the left there, too. We want to go up. Hello. An asteroid. Okay. Is this your first run? No, we did a an hour, like fifty seconds, run a little while ago. It's the first run on stream, if that's what you're asking. Um, today, at least. Because we did run a run a little while ago. This week. Instead of disabling? Yes. I actually had it disabled at one point. But then I re-enabled it for... Expedition Co-op to see if it would show up. These guys are scared of rain. Hello, Hentacle. And Hobor. Hello. What do you think of settings, Harbor? Do you hate everything? Complete hatred? Why are you there? Well, <laughs> I hate all RNG. I have pre-cycles disabled. Personally. Right now. Hello, Cinema Monsters. Rain Blue. Did they both spawn in the same shelter or something? And no karma. All right. I've been keeping karma caching because major assists are questionable. Just change the focus on the player. It's hard to explain, and I don't fully understand it. It's more of how aggressive they are and how much they focus on the player. Yes. There's a dude there. He was not scared of the vulture.
I was sick of them. Oh no. Play Saint Lucaron. More than a player. It's it's weird. I know they changed some other things, but yeah. It's had like shorter cycles. Okay. Whatever you think is good. Hello, Icy Orca. How's it going? How has been the progress? Um, and of course, if there's ideas for other categories, please let us know. Any obscure mechanic, um, I'd love to see it showcased in some way in a run. I want to allow Hunter Longlegs in Gord campaign. Loings. I mean, that's just gonna happen. On the bit you just pass, I think. Okay. Because you're still in your survivor run, right? Because you're probably going down, not up here. Zero cycle hunter runs. I mean, if we disabled all karma and made just cycles as long as possible, that would be runs that go really long. What is Vulture Cheese? So there's a location in Chimney where if the Echo's active and you bring a grub there, you can summon vultures down, and they'll be sleeping, and you can kill them for points. And you can summon every single one in Chimney. Moon Cloak would be cool? I think it would, too. Oh, they're scared of rain. Just wish they weren't there. a plonk if you may ask. There's a weird mechanic with Rivlet where if you jump onto a body of water from a high height you can get sent really far really really far really really fast. It can also clip you out of bounds. It has something to do with you doing your swim in the air. And it was so cute. I've yet to do that. You basically just do it as Monk, though, right? And died instantly. True. Love on Nyx. Can Monk even do it? Yes. You also can have the, the settings on to make it... Um, easier to swim as Monk. Hello, COISO. Oh. Is this a fun speedrun? So far, I think it's nice. Not too much of a problem. You go through really large areas the fastest way you possibly can. Oh, I want to touch that. I don't know what that says. Um, and it's actually not too bad. I think there could be an entirely different route, I will say. Bad fly. I can't move my hands right now. Okay. I get it. Okay. I'm gonna make the bad fly bigger when I get the chance. Punish. Also, yes. I think I said it before. As you may notice, you start if you die. People have done that before, actually. No turtle did. So, if you know how... So, the hunter long legs will always respawn. The hunter long legs works off the... 
karma flower mechanic where if you perma die as hunter it leaves behind a karma flower in future slug cat saves where they died Okay, we have to dodge the peddler. Okay. Do you think you can jump from the right side? Stab pedals twice? Okay, I'll do that next time. Why do you have to mystify pebbles? Because he turns off the anti-grav when you talk to him. From chat, yes. can't point worst timeline I do like how it's much easier to backflip As MSC cats? I don't know about that. I hate this part. Can you even really make that? I'm gonna try. So much. Do do the base cat campaigns as an MSC cat. You can play with low suit would do as well. Hello. Okay. Pebbles is angry. How would you do that? I mean it could be interesting to do different entirely different routes as different cats. Um, we're not gonna make it a main category by any means. No! Anything with that! Ugh. Why not? I mean, we would have it as a miscellaneous if people really like a category for some reason. Do I save here? We could save. We can't get landfish anymore though. Cursed to wet mouse. Born to fish. Horse to mouse. Wait. I might not. What? Why did it let go of the the thing? So there's a mechanic where if you're holding on to the the tentacle, you can't die. You can always climb out. Hundred percent of the time. But I wasn't holding it for some reason. Monk speedruns? There's nothing that much different. We all aggress? No. If you're holding a tentacle, like, 
vine thing, you can always climb out of grasps. Period. Pretty sure. Might be a wiggle out of grass thing, but wiggle out of grass, I would have been able to get out if I was doing it earlier. I just thought I could climb out, though. Always give wet mouse never land fish. You get land fish if you took the ball before meeting pebbles and then you meet pebbles. You get wet mouse if you meet pebbles before you get the ball. Does that make sense? Are you the overseer? It's in the code. Pretty sure. What are you talking about? Pebbles has different dialogue depending on if you meet him before or after getting the ball. This is why you saved there. I know. But I want it. I want it, okay. It requires one entire less save. Land mouse. Average mouse. Wow. Oh? Is this route any? I barely know how it works, so no. Be a very good idea to not save. True. Oh, wait. I wish the... The jolly co-op options worked as single player. Plung would be useful anywhere. Um, not with this route by any means. If you had to go to moon from the average So the the final swim to moon that we normally do for all other cats, that's the only place I see it being useful for. And you have to climb up that ladder still. I think you know what I mean. The one that has the clip that Tim B posted, pretty sure. Timbus. Cumulative Timbus. Also, after this, I'm thinking of doing Pain Cat. Um, we'll only do one run of this, because this will probably take a while. Anyway, and I really want to try it with no save pebbles. Skyworm. Hello. Hey, Goopton. Hello. I believe I said your name correctly. I did that movement horribly because I was trying to read your name. Abortion. Yes, hello. Channel points available for throwing things. For each slug cat now. Please. Come on. We did it. <laughs> the hat for Cormon, it's rotund. You can't get it wrong. Low river water. How is existing? I'm making these bigger after this run. Please remind me. They're too they're too small. Very easy to not hit.
Hello? You're new. Don't do that. Hello, Cirilla. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're gonna disable that now. I'm over that. <laughs> no. No developer commentary. Bad. Alright, we have the time. I'm already sleeping. Are you? You're not real. It's the mother spiders. Splitter spiders is also really good. Give me an egg. Scale. Two times. Give me a bat fly. Scale. Two times. It's perfect. Items for XP? No. <laughs> it's very big now. Hello, Timby. Welcome. This seems harder. Okay. What do you think of settings? Do you hate all settings? Are settings horrible? Very icky, no good. Hate all settings. Just go back to 1.5. Downpour isn't real. We need 1.1. No. I'm not going back. Quality of life is too good, regardless of any small issues the game has currently. Dampening. Only features true. Boinking is very intended. When does game play itself, Revolver? Please tell us. As many spears in the walls as you want. I mean, yeah. Did any major changes like that? I feel like spears in the walls should be a major change. I guess that depends on who you ask. It's more centered towards beginning players. Which I think a lot of people who've played this game for a long time maybe don't understand as much. for a speedrun, you can infinitely climb a surface with spears and walls, and still have a spear left behind, making the wall much easier to climb. So you're not using resources. You're not losing resources. I guess is the best way to put it. I mean, it also makes things easier and not as annoying on RNG. I guess that's a lot of things, like the fullest, um... Longest cycle ever. Just to have a whole walls. Why are they always here? Oh, 
Oh, that berry went the wrong way. Well, that's not a berry. Go away. Can't let it go. You must absolve the Stockholm Syndrome, Timby. It can be better. It's okay. Especially for lower correcting, yes. Seems like it affects all minor stuns. Every obtainable item in one shelter. No one's ever really done that. Could be interesting. I think Gourmand Singularity Bomb percent could be funny. Or at least just kill the, the Hunter Long Legs with it. Fox 70 is make Dragon stuff. I don't know if that's that setting or if it's just like that now. To be honest. No. Bad. We're hearing this song again. I do like how they've done music. Because normally this song would never play again. Go away. Bad. Stop it. Okay, no hazard in the way anymore. Fight him. Fight him. This is bad. Company a spider fight. What if you can jump on the outside here? No. Hello, wild. Okay. Speed run when wild. I'm just gonna keep asking you stuff like this every time. Fill out the form. In meta and tech wild. I did fill the form out? Okay. I would like at least 20 people. About a date percent run? Are you trying to ask me on a date, Timby? Is this what it's like? <laughs> um, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Just ask to me. You know that, right? <laughs> um, is this just the I would assume it's just the the actual dating simulator, you mean? Route is viable. Any percent for the character? Yeah. I don't know the specifics yet, to be honest. That's why I'm going to be playing it more tonight. The Sun's Hat mod they used in speedruns. We might allow certain mods in speedruns going forward, by the way. Right now, we're not going to. It's just going to be the base mods that come with it. The sim ending. I feel like we don't include 
the dating sim. Also, please let me know. I want to know, because I should know, before I actually make the categories. Where does the dating sim... Dating sim's the only ending, right? For that character. One. I'm thinking about the game... I'm not... I was thinking about the... How to word that. We're gonna do this again. That's fine. There's only one ending, right? That's all I want to know. And that is the dating sim starting. Only Ascension. And that's normal Ascension location, right? It's not like it happens at Pebbles or something. Okay. It's only in Depths. That's what I want to know. So there's only going to be the one ending. Is it not loaded? You can definitely still get into the the region. It's just not going to be different. You just don't care jumping on centipedes rather than let them move well in a lot of cases jumping on them is going to be better because actually they can only feel you with their heads and their um feelers so if you jump on their body they actually don't know you're doing that are super passive by that yes sent to wing sent to wing specifically just know you're there on line of sight as well that's not true as far as anyone cares that is how that works I actually don't know orbular vision Talk wrapped up in a red centipede. It probably knew you were there. Every time it senses you for any centipede, it'll stop for a moment. So you can continue to just go for it. Got stopped by the box? Yes. That is a feature. Orbular. Does not block that. That was done on purpose. They're very round. Is there a visualization mod for creatures so we can see their vision? I do want that. I would probably pay someone for that if it doesn't already exist. Not for 1.9 though. I thought it didn't exist, like ever. Like we've had the singular gif of the purple lizard. It exists, all right. I, I really want that. Candle recreated it, cool. I really want that. Because that's one I've wanted for a very, very long time for every creature, so I can finally explain to people how they work. Especially centipedes. You want to hand it over? It's only 1.5, is what you're saying. How could we get it to 1.9, though? Um, I would like it, though, yes. Regardless. I just, I'm probably not going to use it for a while, if it's not 1.9. Doesn't know how to port it over. Phones mm. from their heads, they can only feel and hear to you. 
they can't really see, but the, the flying ones apparently can see from what they're saying. They can see you, all of them can, but how? Movement detected? I've never really noticed that. Insane vision cones. And yet I've done some weird things that would suggest that they can't see. And explaining it makes it a lot easier. To say that they can't see. I've seen the behavior though. Is it real? Wiki isn't real. Centipedal. Vision cone. Oh, it's perfect. Even though I don't really understand how that works. I'm turning on and off my full computer lock. For virtual controller. Yet, from what I have experienced constantly, um, that doesn't appear to be the case that they can see. Because of the things that I've done. Maybe it's just they don't get enough stimulus. I didn't bring something that hit this man. they are moving. So their cone gets super small if you're laying down. Okay. So it's more or less that they can't hear you. It's just that at a range um, they can't tell. Color palette for centipede shell. Hmm, orange. Hmm. I don't know why that's so funny. That is a good one, though. Is it like that for all lizards and stuff? Only here when idle, though. Can you, yeah. Yeah, I don't know about Aquapies either. I hate this. Please. No. Please. I don't understand why it's like that. Who does this? Help have vision. They seem to have vision once they activate. I hate going left. Left is garbage. I don't need to check this. It seems like you can't really do much about that either. Okay, when you remember to bring a spear next time. Aquapedes to take vibrations in water. That's what it seems like. It's the same with eels. They just kind of know you're in water. Kelp have eyes. 
Grand Palace. Low elusive smoke. I don't know how to deal with that. If someone can... <laughs> Who can look at the wiggle out of grasps code? How does it work? Okay, maybe I can't jump left. Um... Because I feel like you should be able to get out of that situation. Stuff for remix options? Amazing. Submit to remix. Not the tentacles. I've gotten out of small tentacles before, but once you get grabbed by like two at the same time, it seems like it's not great. But you kind of get sucked into the second one instantly if you grab get grabbed by one. That's why I really don't like that one part right there, because you, it's just so close that if you move slightly, you just kind of die. Pulling is so hard. And it's only just barely that you can get out now. I feel like you should be able to get out, or at least you have to be touched by it for a bit longer. I should have been pressing buttons, I don't know what I was doing. Is New Year's like Pipe Yard from Update or Remix? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Up yard is an MSC Narnis, yeah. You have downpour on, you have downpour on. Can I go to Pipe Yard? No. time. There's a dude there. You made me drop my berry. Now I need to eat something. Also, yeah, you can definitely get out of orbs just fine.
get out of orbs the the proto long legs when we were talking about get out of grasps that harbor talked about thought that geometry would be annoying but it's not too bad actually thank you The gravity orb. ending with base game cats I mean you do that as survivor and monk yeah that is going to be a speed run and so is pup percent although that's gonna be weird because you might not run into anyone No pop percent. That's too bad. Alright. Gonna say this a few times as we do things. Which runs should I submit to Games Done Quick? What unlocks the pups? The food quest of Gourmand. Low Moose as well. This one, I was thinking this one, maybe Saint, and Survivor Tree Ending. And then we get a fourth one too that I can submit. Looks fast and too long, yep. So I was gonna say, it might be visually not as great. I'm not sure. Like everything, everything's a dark area that we're in. I guess the, the snow is good. That always happens. They really do spawn in the same shelter, don't they? Must be because it's like half pre-cycle and they both spawn for a second. Why do I take this as Riv? Ever do that again? He got me. I'm dead now. I don't like going up left side regardless. It's not as safe if there's a white lizard there. Which there was. Called it. Least colorful regions percent. I mean, that's kind of just Riv entirely. Let's be honest. Oh my goodness. That was scary. <laughs> I tried to stop it, and I couldn't. Lots of rain, so if it's rain rolled. Comparative to every other cat- every other character where you see no rain. Zooms into their government mandated karma increase. What? Exterior have the best odds. I don't know. I mean, that's kind of why I want to do Saint. Because Saint goes through so many places, and it's visually really, really good. In my opinion, Rubicon is not long. When you know what you're doing.
frown. Do you hate Rubik's Cubes? Get stuck in Rubicon. I've never had this problem. There's just two entire massive routes you can take, and it's really weird. Vulture and Rubicon. We do have to go through the, um, that side, yeah. Excuse you. Do you mind? Okay. This worked out. It's a big loop with a branch off. I didn't really think about that. Insta killed for fun. I did remember watching you play, and I was questioning why you didn't just fly over things. There's a spear there, and it's raining. don't like saints mechanics, just fly over them. You don't have to attack them. Actually, don't attack them. Because it makes you stand still, and then you die. You just forcefully get height, and then do rolls after it. And then move as fast as you can. Miro's Vulture gets me. Yeah, it is kind of annoying, isn't it? That whole Memory Crypts area is not good, and that's the fastest route. It's so high up. If it was, like, slightly lower down... ...in just the, the screen... ...itself... ...it so suddenly gets darker. It happens every time we get here, too. Blew both of them up? Yes. Vero's bird, more powerful. Land-based chicken, more powerful. Attack, unprovoked. They do kind of just show up. You got a mask from a Miros Vulture. What game are you playing? With help from Miro Vulture. But how? Huh. Do you know Miro's Vultures attack the player 50% more, generally, than other creatures? Was a regular Vulture. Do we save here? Yes or no? Do we die instantly to the same thing as last time? Also yes or no. P.E. Okay. Remember you did this. You have to save at some point? Well, I save when you get back here with the ball. No save. Save at the second one? No. I don't see a reason to do that, personally. Like, I get why, but... We're going all the way to the ball. I get to hit pebbles with a spear this time. Low tree on. Mild zero G, my hated. Why can't you just be normal? hate pebbles. Okay, we're going a long way, because I hate that spot so much.
canonical rivlet run. Yeah, it is a horrible, horrible spot. Why do you hate him? So he stops talking to me so I can get by him because he turns off the zero G when he's talking. Low Fahrenheit. Whoa. Are you here for die to death balls thing? Yes. Don't. Okay, rot. Whatever. Yes. I don't know how much you've played downpour as well. So I don't know how much you want to see. I forgot zero G's a thing, and I got me killed last time. My space bars are getting deleted. What? What does that mean? Christic conduit. Filthy spoiler devour. Consume the spoiler. Oh! I hate him. Why is he there? This is the only thing that can stop the run, is this guy being right there. Please move to the right. Hello. Deprotonation. Um, one thing I will suggest for you, Farron. Don't watch Saint if you haven't already. Play it yourself. Only thing that I will suggest you don't get spoilers for. Very important. I think it's a extremely good experience that you should experience yourself. But again, uh, we might talk about it a bit, but... Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's still what I'm going to suggest. Oh, it produces little light things. I didn't know it did that. Ballin, come to me, Ballin. I need you. Uh, uh, I, I quit. Okay. Come to me. Uh, okay. Ballin. Ballin acquired. Rivlet never be Ballin. Rivlet. can't get over it. I still want basketball mod. I want it. Give it to me. I will pay you. Basketball mod. Please don't be in the way. Oh, actually, it's the next room. I was watching someone earlier and they really don't like zero G and they're like we stole the bad mechanic from pebbles we stole it 
It's ours now. <laughs> that was hilarious. Keep working now. Zero G is cringe. It is pretty annoying. This still has zero G, right? Yeah. Portable zero G, not cringe. Yes. Does this push me back? Oh wait, no, there's stuff here. I don't know how to move in this room. Is better than Survivor FP. I kind of agree with that. Also because you know what you're doing. To some degree. And it's, like, really interesting, because there's just entire areas you've never seen before. I'm not going to jump up there. I do not have a good thought about that. Well, now this isn't going to be active when I actually need it. how we die. I'm gonna jump from here. Hate you, tentacle. Very evil. Alright. We're not going left, because I hate left. As usual. Fallen. 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 <laughs> Why did I talk to you? This makes us even? Who said that? Can I not activate this? Slugcats remix? What does that mean? What could that possibly mean? Take the pearl? No. No. Shall find out? I don't think I will. Not soon, at least. Call term jump. Interesting. Disables on power source. Have you already stolen it? He's running away. Um, he doesn't. He didn't there. He didn't there, but he does the first time. All right, it's time. Or backflip. He turns off the the anti grav the first time you enter, so you can't do that. Um, but I assume that might be what Timby is referring to. Felt too short to me. You can make it with the back clip, if I'm not wrong. Did you bully him on the way? Not on the way out, but on the way in, yes. A slug cat you went through? What? Thank you for the lurk, King Jason. Should I change that message? Or should it stay like that? Why did I turn this on? This is slower.
All in. Only part you want it for is right here. Because it's horrible. Red. Red. 3D modeling stream tomorrow. Revlet best for speedruns. Not necessarily. They're all different. Don't say one is better than the other. It's just a different experience. That could have been bad. Really don't want to get stunned and drop this. Is the pup throwable? Yes. I've gotten some reference pictures. Wild if you have reference pictures for some reason. I feel like you might. I would love them. Did he take my ball? Where did it go? Do you mind? That was my stick. Can I have that back, please? <laughs> oh no, it almost worked. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> oh my goodness. He took the ball! Of all things, I've never seen them do that. Do we need survivor karma for superstructure? The merge? Great escape if it worked. I should have had the spear, but I couldn't grab it for some reason. It's five. Oh, it's annoying. Two seconds in the map? Do you mean? 10 million slug pups I've ever drawn? Yes. Artificial's best for murder, but not speedruns. It'll depend. It could be really interesting. I think the only problem with Artificial is the start. Um, I don't like the start. Start annoying. Very not good location. Um, so far, the runs that I have watched, uh, it's optimal to go through the toll, yes. Not through the cool new location. Which is why it makes me sad. Okay. Didn't get stunned somehow. Um, you're basically... I've seen a lot of people do runs, and they basically just try to drag a body through the toll after throwing one bomb. Is a cool no location. It's not cool enough. Okay. No dudes. No hot dudes blocking our path. That's a really annoying location. That's fine. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for stopping by, Will. We. You even get stunned while this is active? I don't know. Instead of precipice. But no, you can technically still, um, get back up the precipice from waterfront. But I don't know how much better that is. It doesn't seem like it's a good idea. I don't like precipice, and I don't like normal grapple as much, which it seems like you have to use both. Eating candy hearts. Mm. I also wish, like, the only time I want to do precipice is with Rivlet, and it doesn't even connect the shoreline anymore.
Don't remember going to Waterfront or Precipice at all? You have to for Spearmaster's campaign. What connection does it have? The exterior? <laughs> If it has other connections, I'm not aware of it. I think it's just a dead-end region. If it's connected to other places, I don't know. It's part of Shoreline. How do you get to Moon... Can you get to Moon through Waterfront? For some reason, I always thought you had to go through Precipice. I forgot Shruts existed. The the map's been moving around in development, so it's a little weird. It's not fun. Wish Precipice didn't connect to Moon. I also do. Was there, yes. No. As a useless region. I mean, it is for Gourmand. As already, you can use it, and it's actually pretty cool. Underhanger Precipice. I mean, would have to make that its own category. It wouldn't, couldn't be the main one. There was a dude there. I should have just slid through him. I thought about it, but I'm like, I don't know what he's gonna do. Where am I going, by the way? Shaded? Shaded moment. I jumped off that centipede. Cool. Uh, don't kill me. I only killed two of you previously. Be in the main speedrun category? What do you mean? We don't... What we're saying is... Uh, no one likes press... And we'd rather make it so we don't have to go that way. The only time I want to go through Precipice is is as Riv, and you can't do that. Can actually someone tell me? Do you know Wild does press is Precipice exist for Riv? Does it actually connect to anything? I, I feel like I just asked that and I didn't notice which question was for which, but technically yes. But can I actually get down there? No. That's terrible. Why? But not up yet is kind of annoying. If you were saint, you'd be able to do it, but... Andrew hates Fun's Beauty. It makes sense in a timeline thing, but... I don't know. I wish Precipice was like a solid thing for Spearmaster and it was its broken state for the others. That's what I want. That's what I want. Precipice route's fast though. It is faster. That's why we hate it. Because I, I hate it. So much. Might not actually be that bad, but um, it's... It's annoying, it's stressful. So many things. Dropless routing's bad, because you have to do that jump to make it faster, right? How good is that jump, by the way?
Linear Farms is less linear. That's why they stopped calling it Linear Farms. They called it Arrays instead of Far Linear. Do not do it. Ballin. Can Spears hit the portable nuke I'm holding instead of me? Interconnect very much. It's very strange. It's hard to tell how things connect, which in a lot of ways is nice. I wish it was more like an orb, but at the same time, you didn't want to make it too easy to immediately get to the end. You wanted the player to take time to actually get to where they're supposed to, but I wish it was like the rot. In where it was just like a secret pipe. Got lost in Metro. Good. It's working. The pipeline. The pipe you heard. A low strange mannequin. <laughs> How's it going? Why? Oh, I was gonna say, why isn't the effect happening? Because everything in color is around us the same. That was almost bad. Didn't want to make Petro too easy. Didn't want to make Metro too easy to immediately get to the end of it. Is what I meant. Has he used a guide or wouldn't have made it? Oh. The Jackie is a little weird. This has non-stick coating and the one quick path you can take. I crawl through, hang out of it, blow up to get through. What are you talking about? Them glowing things you grab, the thing I'm holding right now? Or what do you mean? That was bad. Hello, Crab Nicholson. Hello. Monk shelter. Monk. Mentioned. I want. <laughs> Would that be a bad emo? <laughs> Monk mentioned. It's like Brazil mentioned, but worse. Um, I guess that's the void spawn you're talking about, though, Green Mannequin. That thing I just hit right now. They point towards depths, which is not relevant for our character. It only appears if we have enlightenment as well. Let's fix themselves all the time. Yeek. Yes. Ah, the zoomies. Hello, Thanos. So does L. Welcome. Just a monk could be getting pelted by a rick. I go to Moonwise Dodo. I am not thinking about the right stuff right now. All I had in my mind was I have to go to Moon. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. I'm reading chat. That's what matters to me right now. I'm sorry. New meta. Meet Moon first. You do have to go to moon. I mean, do I? Kind of. 
Riblet intended. Hit both moon and pebbles with spear. Gives you good luck. I press jump during this, and does it even matter? Uh... I think we could still get under an hour. Surely there's food inside, right? Please do not body block me again. Centipede of Doom. Rivlet is in the timeline. Rivlet is second to last in the timeline. Craft of Spearmaster Spears? Yes. That's where I have to go as Rivlet. Yes. Without the ball is a nightmare. I also did that the first time I played Rivlet. It is a nightmare. Do the spears turn black? Yep, they look like normal spears afterwards. It's very weird. And kill her with a singularity bomb. Ooh. Eat all of Moon's neurons now. No, they they turn into look like normal rebar spears after you make them into explosive spears. That is what they are really saying. All right. No shelter. No safety. Only death. We're playing barrel trauma now. Please go away. True, it is water time. Why do I keep thinking that's a pipe? I remember that from something. Mods? Guys, probably the only thing that's scary here, other than drowning, which is a very real threat. I'm not gonna press jump. Did that stop early? Let me gamble. What? What happened? That made you say that. Why did you say mods? don't remember what the song name is. Need more channel points? No. I didn't go the right way, but that's fine. doing this? No one knows. What do you mean? Pebbles is also full of life. I don't remember where to go at this point. Oh my goodness, Shetfish. Mm -hmm. 
these take them off me? Kinda. Can the scavs take the orb? I don't think so. I remember now. Helpers. Man, this run's scary when you don't take saves. Oh my goodness. Excuse me? Turn around? This is actually concerning. We have to go into the shelter now. Because it's a really big... Never scheme a scav. They're actually pretty common. The ball affect my movement there. Is it this one? Nope. Still good I went in there though. Yep, there we go. Okay. on the right again. Hello? What's he doing here? <laughs> what? I've never seen that before. I didn't know they could get here. I don't think they're supposed to. I don't think he's dead. He just can't move because he's really not supposed to be here. Oh, I wonder if he can make it out quickly. Like maybe you stay in the thing and turn it on and then get out. He wants to help you. Is it end cycle? Um, how is this going to go? Am I gonna die now? If it's end cycle? Please don't kill me. <laughs> it's the the end cycle. It's scripted end cycle. It's oh, okay. So you always get four dots. This is as the cycle actually ended though, cuz we actually ran out of time. I don't know if that gave me extra time, because... Or not. Well, eight an extra one, that's fine. Think we can make it with only four dots? I don't think so. Oh look, we're gonna be way under an hour. Yours was like a, a 47, right, Hobborp? That seems reasonable. Why do I come here? I keep forgetting there's the spot. Hello. 
song is really good. Works really well here, even though it's called Garden. Which is kind of funny to me. So it's one of the unused thongs. Originally, all of card. Hello, all armored squid. I almost called you all of squid. Unused from base camp? I think so. I'm not sure. There's a few of those. Olive Garden now. Why would you ever say that? Are you okay? Someone hurt you. The breadsticks are not worth it. Don't believe their lies. You know the way. Okay. Makes sense. Never mind that. He's coming to Canada. How dare you say that? I haven't been to Olive Garden in a really long time. It's never been a, a like an amazing or special occasion by any means. I'd never I don't even know. It's not a place I would say I want to go there in my life. Progressive mammal. What? Got it. Just the last room. Please. Almost under 50. That's pretty good for dying on the wall. Pick his own olives. True. I probably would have beaten the, the 47 if I didn't die in the wall. I don't know how much time we lost. Because we had to do the whole top of the wall again. I assume I did like one or two less saves than you though, Hubbard. Hello, White Paws. I believe that's Wish the Rain. Hello. Red. I'm literally shaking and crying right now. Are you okay, Hubbard? Why do you- why do you want to- why is Olive Garden good? Please tell me. I need to know. Legal to have this many Iggy's on screen? It is now. It's hello, Wish the Rain. Have you been liking Downpour? In a garden. Mm. Free breadsticks. Garlic bread, my beloved. Make your own garlic bread. Please do. It will be better. Go to the store, buy a big thing of bread, cut it in half, and toast your own garlic bread. Get those trunked garlic things, put it on the top with butter. If you have like a large group of people and you have no idea where to go, that's the only times I've ever gone. And garlic probably also use garlic powder. I like the chunks of garlic though. Garlic butter. Skipping it. Not required. I, I, never mind. Wait. I don't just have to play. I want to see the time at the end. Bake. Min Scarlet. Enjoying all slug cats? Good. Sub. Nice. How far have you gotten? How many of them have you played? Ice cans of our hate crimes against Olive Garden? No. Start giving you bread. Keep asking. No parsley mentioned blog. I've never even really thought about parsley. Hello, Brof Kayon, and Random Pen. Hello. 
for my hot takes on parsley. Shrimp Alfredo is the only good thing to come from Olive Garden. I barely know what that is. There's a variable called num3. Are you looking into wiggling out of them? And all that, I forget what I asked already. Are other iterators still functional? I would say yes. Already food cat saint left? All right. Very cool. Only thing I will suggest to you, do not watch other people play saint. Play it yourself first. They're here. This is bad. Thank you for the follow, Deproto Nation. Wow, that picture is very big. <laughs> it's the first one that's first time that's popped up now. I've changed a bunch of uh, icons for alerts to all of the ones that I have. I don't understand anything at this point. Mm. Sprite related stuff, probably. Did you already do Riv? We're doing it again because I want to do it better. Um, I need to submit runs to Games Done Quick by the 7th. And I want to get this run closer to 45 before we do that. YouTube can't make me do it. YouTube's not real. Don't look at it. No. From Rain World, good. So far, this run is good, yeah. Were you passage back to Skylands? I probably would. It's mid run for what? Games done quick. Summer games done quick. I'm going there, one way or the other. Um, and I've been wanting to get a run in it for the longest time. And this is the moment where we have the highest chance to actually get a run in. And so I'm submitting the best runs we have from MSC. And so far, I think it's probably going to be Outer Expanse Survivor, this run, Saint, and I don't know what other one. He's under 45 with no karma. I mean, probably still could get under 45 with this run as we did if I didn't die on the wall. Better speakers, whatever, than last time. What does that mean? What does that mean? Also, what other run should I try, do you guys think? Because I'm not sure yet. The host, I think? What? The, if you watch the... The awesome game's done quick one. It might be weird. People who watch you and talk, the hosts... I don't... I've never know... I don't... What? What do you mean better speakers than last time? I don't remember at any point that was bad. Or what you're referring to specifically. Also, I've never been on a Games Done Quick before. I've been on the Games Done Quick channel for a hotfix, not the main event. It was still in front of 2,400 people, but it was not the main event. This is the main event I'm trying to get into, which is the largest speedrunning game event. So remember you did something. Yes. Look, it's you. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. It's not real. <laughs> Riv Pilgrimage? I don't want to do that, though. I kind of don't. I kind of don't. Bow down to yes. Look, it's me. The only thing you need to see. We're going to go now. Okay, goodbye. Already Ascension is good? Could be. It's also pretty hard. Is the flower thing. Trending as far as I'm concerned. Considering there's no scavengers afterwards. I don't know about that. <laughs> Make us whole. Oh. 
50 40. Because of car flowers, that's it. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go get more water. But I'm going to set up a pole. Okay, you have three options and five minutes to choose. No karma vanilla exploits ascension. I don't know if we want an any percent. I don't... Do we really want an any percent? If you guys do an any percent run, maybe we'll add it where you just despawn them. Despawn's much harder now. I think you can do creature distraction with vanilla exploits on. One more question. I'm going to get water in a second, though. I want to see some of these new places. Man eater. Superstructure. Wait, we can just not spawn? I didn't know that. The consumer. Let's see this crash we're talking about. All right, I'll be right back. This is funny. Hello, Timby. Where are you? Scavenger. Bad word I'm around. Apparently there's some sort of crash when those guys eat the, the fire bugs. Doesn't seem to actually crash though. Consume them. They seriously just kill all of them immediately? Crazy. We're going back. Don't think they have enough weapons. They really can only kill them with explosives, I will say. Eat the deer? What kind of slug fuck references are you looking for? Give me whatever you have. Do it without dev tools or else I'll be right. You have less than max. You have to be holding a scavenger so you pretend have X karma. If that makes sense. Can the DLs eat each other? They can eat the smaller versions. If they're both the same kind, they can. If that makes sense. Hello, Sinder Dragon.
Alright, I'll be right back. to unlock the big tentacle boy. Play as Riv and stay in the rot. Go to the right side. I'll get four free achievement. Same as last stream save? Yes. We're in Outer Expanse right now. We're going to keep going left. Did they kill two of them, or is he just stuck down there? I have to do this myself? Alright. Would recommend. It's a good experience so far. This isn't the right thing. Don't do it. Kill him. I've heard the, the scavengers usually kill them. I'm a little surprised. What? <laughs> no. Do they even attack him? They killed him. No. No, they don't attack. They don't attack scabs. Does that just make sense? What a 
about this. Kill him. Oh. I don't have an elite scav. That man speared a wall. Oh no. That one's stuck in a wall. Somehow. Aggressive AI, does it affect pumps? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I didn't mean to have that happen. I just want to see them actually kill one. It doesn't appear to be happening. Oh! We got him! He stabbed the one down there, he's pinned. Hello, Echinus. Surely they can learn. Kill the lizard. Don't go up there. Don't do it. Oh! 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 Finish him! <laughs> He's the chosen one. No. Go help him. There it is. Only accidentally. Apparently. Apparently, it's been seen that slug cats have fast pole climbed. No, not that. Don't look at those either. Fastball climb. Oh, this still has wrong thing. Evo is not real. Evo is never for it. He missed the bat flight. It's gone now. They're here. This is bad. Hello, Lamsey. Apollo. Didn't make the second. Our Fisher VTuber had a mayo. Yes. We're making the others soon. But first, a slug pup throwable. I'm making that tomorrow. On stream. The children must be yeeted. Well, the box didn't miss, we were just on the ground. So we have to save Astra and Umbra today. This is the goal. This gate do be loud, though. Because there's two of them. New box. This is not a new box. The box has always been here. Also, there's worm grass at the bottom of this pipe I'm on right now. If you guys didn't know, 
You can die there. I'm trying to bat fly. Oh, got it. Found out the hard way once. I find it really weird. That's like that. Oh, it's this place. It's raining. This is concerning with children. It was concerning as Gorge, but now there are children like weighing us down. Throw the children, no. Now is not the time for children eating. Your children weigh your down hot? Only the one I'm that is in my hands. The one on my back does not. Emotional baggage. Child, deploy! Think they can figure out how to get up here. Now is not the time for child eating. You know, I've seen like Commands for recording. I can't even say it. Like different quotes. I feel like that might not be the best idea, though. Is this a new slug scenario? This is just us with pups. Those guys mirrored each other for a second there. We have almost chieftain, pretty sure. Is a distraction for predators? I don't know. I tried to eat the berry and that didn't work out well, apparently. That man died to the worm grass. Sometimes may save you from a lizard on you. It's more likely that they'll grab the lizard. The lizard will grab the, the pups out of your hands than anything. Caramel? Nope. Did look like it was a car. Oh, yeah, that was unfortunate. Did look like it was a caramel, though. Oh! Go, child. Consume. Don't consume. Do not touch that. Do not touch the newt. Shanks. London. London simulator. You can extend your slides with them through like, can you? Pretty lizard. No. This is the skug scenario. Proper weight distribution is a good backpack, yes. If one of the if one of the slug pups put the other pup on their back, we'd be able to carry both of them. But they're not programmed to do that. We can't carry the jump man. Can we go down? Infinite stack, right? Yes. I don't think I've ever really been here before. 
All I know is we, we want to go down right now. I'll see just... Leeches! Why do they spawn there? Normal shelter? I'll take it. Why does it seem like bait? I don't remember the shelter, personally. <laughs> 20 player stack. Right now it only goes to 4, though. Can you get pups in Jolly Co-op? I suppose you can. Exactly, does pup AI work? I don't know. And I don't pretend to know. They're here. This is bad. Thank you for the follow, Sapphire Lordus. Oh, cool. We're pupping out. Don't remember this room. Never been here. Chonky survivor threw through and you played a round of pup. Cool. This is a rhetorical question. Dysfunctional family with friends. Oh, I know where we are. <laughs> Surely we can go through the worm grass. Love the V2 around. Thank you. Um, we're going to be working on a pup throwable tomorrow. And otherwise, I'm going to be working on the other models for these slug cats going forward. They're here. This is bad. Hello, Chairi. I believe I said that correctly. Hello. Thank you for the follow as well, Trion. This is bad. What's the model lineup? Right now, I just have. The old survivor, the new survivor, I technically could set up old hunter model. I have the multiple Zoroark models, the Zoroa model. And I have this model that we're using right now. But next, we're probably going to make Saint. You make yours yourself? Yes. Um, I also made the throwables. Well, not all of them, but any of the Rainworld themed ones I did. If you look at the channel points specifically. Can't see. Mm -hmm. Child. Boy, there's greeches on me. But yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be the three D modeling for a slug pup. Don't need that. Uh. This isn't a child-friendly environment. They are real. During a gourmand slide, a man got a leech on him. Water time. Also, yes, if you have a specific slug cat you want to make, me to make the model next for, but I was thinking Rivlet. Ruffles. I don't know what the one I just said a second ago. I'm really, I'm really thinking about Saint, but Saint I have some ideas for that I might not want to do yet for reasons. You make pain cat? 
Pink Cat will just be reskin normal. Normal cat. Giga Bones will be fun. Well, they will. It'll be like the ears are right now and the tail. Why did I come here again? <laughs> Hobo's Singularity Egg. Um, if you code that in Unity, uh, I will use that. But I'm not going to code that in Unity. Because that whole explosion sequence has to be... Coded. I can make the egg just fine. Never should have come here. I'll give you 2k channel points, take it or leave it. Okay. Splash heart plastered on the base model as a texture. No. I think I can make it look interesting, more like the some of the art. Oh goodness. That's not that. I don't remember. We're going this way. Belter. Child need food though. Where's the other one? Come down here. Come on. Come on. You're new. I believe in you. Yeah. Drop the child. Perfect. The flowers are really cool. Casually eats the child. It's a good method of transportation. Wow. Speed boost. They've named a function worm grass goody lucky immune. What? I'd assume that's for the yeeks that don't really work. Conserve speed. It was teaching you turn. Good lucky. Come back here. No, don't go towards the bad man. Isn't there a guy over there? I don't know. Oh, it's a pulp land, isn't it? That's a pulp land. New lounge moment. What? Turn to go faster. Yes. I saw him, but I was like, hmm. Doesn't know about laundry. What do you mean?
I'm not sure how you deal with him in that situation. I should have thrown the pup so he dropped. I need to go back, we're not even up there. Dropped, hit nothing, and then I stab him, and then jump by and grab the pup again. Do that next time. That's a spear. Why are you not eating? So much harder with the pups. Actually useful to evade worm grass? Not sure. I'm concerned because worm grass. Worm grass does not make this good. Because then the pup's gonna run back into it and die instantly. No, he's dead. The man's movement didn't really make sense. I guess it's different for... Um, when there's actual pups, because they go between me and the pup equally, instead of always going for me. Okay. It's such a bad spot, because if it was... Not over worm grass, it would be much better. That's the problem, apparently. Between all slug cats, it just considers slug cat, and then it's just how creatures prioritize things. Considering we're all slug cat, it's just gonna prior to us all the same comparative to normally it'll just prioritize the player more. Eat, eat the thing. No. Not the rock. There we go. Okay, never mind. Eat it. Consume it. This is not how consummation works. Got there. I think I hit him with a rock so he doesn't like me <laughs> right now. Picky eater pup. The one that doesn't like the um 
the chestnut berries is the is Umbra. So they're they're it's funny that they're the one that ate it. Where is he? I don't see him. Drop week was never real. Hello Polaris as well. Well. Oh. Well, now we're down here. Surely you will be fine over there. Do not come over here. Do not move. Not just have another back? Yes. Low F as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, I'm holding this one right now. Wow. Alright. Let's just leave. I don't want to be here. Drop wig. Just there, huh? Shove them into the water. No. Oh my goodness. This worm grass wasn't here, I could jump it. He's dead now. is still on him. Not there. Journey's end. We're so close. To get pups to spawn, just keep going to more and more shelters. Because they have a percentage chance to spawn at every shelter. Some places more often than others. Uh, I'm not sure exactly. It's usually like... 15, 10 to 15% per shelter. They can spawn in a shelter. They, they work like you do. They'll just be in a shelter, essentially. They might walk around and move around. Just pay attention every time you're near a shelter. Also, remember that pups start with one food. You do need to feed them one food, otherwise they'll be starving. That next cycle. Does that make sense? Low squirrel as well. Cool. I found both of mine in drainage, of all places. So, Shaded and Pipe Yard. I know Shaded's a good place. Um, but of course, industrial and all that. Might be better. Found mine on the wall. Yes. I've heard exterior is weirdly good. Need food though. I guess it's just the centipedes below us. Not getting the second one though. It's always random chance every time. So, gotta keep trying.
I didn't find my second one for quite a while. Uh, the first time I ever did, I found them both within a cycle of each other, going from industrial to shaded. Just try to see as many shelters as you can, and probably go between regions too, I would say. Because I think it's more... It's more each region has a chance, and then it picks a random shelter in that region. So it's 10% like per region for something to spawn every time. But then it's also, it could be any shelter kind of level. I'm not sure if... Oh, this is annoying. I need a spear, given the pup. Okay, that's not gonna work. Second one I just threw on. I mean, why would you not get the second one? You can have two. Become two child. It's the big man. I wish spears showed up on the map. It's bad. I didn't expect him to move while I was in the air. We need a spear. Alright. That's a little annoying. I should have... I guess I could have gone back. But... I mean, I just play normal. If you have dev commentary, you can also unlock it just with the cheats thing. Uh, I'd recommend trying to do just dev commentary. And then you'll find it eventually. Eat them? They pop before I put them down. They seem to not eat them. Or like acknowledge that they exist. This guy specifically doesn't like that food. Pups do have certain things that they like. We'll notice if they close their eyes. But yeah, try to go between a few regions. Because I know it's spawn chance per region, and then they spawn in a shelter. It's this again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a weird thing to see. Eh? That they changed how wormgrass works instead of it just sinking down. At least he's dead now. Spear, though. Zoom the centipede. That's not a rock. Water time. I think once we save at this shelter, it's the last shelter we need to actually be at. It's weird how few things spawn here. I guess it kind of makes sense.
Like, I don't see a lot of spears. I could take one from those guys. Can't pick him up because he's got a lot of leeches on him. I pass by one. That's a rock. The vulture is almost surprising. I always considered vultures to be the normal vultures are a pebbles thing, and the mirrorless vultures are a moon. If that makes sense. Oh. He took him. Did he? No. Okay. He grabbed us for a moment. But let us go. Which is surprising. Maybe because they can't grab the pups. Because I'm carrying them. Which would make sense. Playing moon for the sword pipe all shit. They are part of moon. It's very obvious how they've set that up. In my opinion. Why was that such an adventure to get a spear? Present near pebbles too. It, it's just what it seems like to me. That's a big guy, isn't it? Oh. What's going on here? Go the other way. Pebbles is near moon. True. happening here. That makes sense. Come on, mirror spells are crypt guardians, so I would assume that it's just the same, but for moon, for the vultures. It's my assumption, at least. There's a very obvious nest that they have at moon. That makes me think that. And why wouldn't Moon have a memory crypts? It's called Harry for a reason. Which is that me? Airy do be scary. Terrifying. Eagle, okay, never mind. Zoom it, okay. Centipedal. This is familiar ter terrain.
That flies. Oh, wait. We're here. Trying to see when it auto runs us. <laughs> Hello? Where is everyone? Double creature. That's interesting. I guess it kind of makes sense. I kind of want to see Monk now. Oh yes, you pit when the send. Monk OE percent excuse? I guess so. Monk can't get pups, which kind of makes sense. If we're going to consider Survivor gets them. Can't they get the pups? They just can't get pups. Survivor took the pups, yes. Survivor took the kids in the divorce. Yep. It's the only way to... Friends sheltered. Oh! 47? It counts it every time? Oh my goodness. If you just play Hunter, you just get free points if they're on your back. Is that worth it? Change Ludo, yeah. I didn't expect it to be 47, though. I expected it to be 2. Fighting for custody. Yeah. That is actually something you'd have to think about for points. I feel like two is just a bad idea. Whoa. Circle creatures. All right. Backspear with pup? No, the, the pup takes the backspear location, which is why it's questionable. How do I change color again now? I don't know what the save is. Oh, we started doing dev commentary with pups with this, but we didn't actually 
get anywhere. How are we gonna get there? We go through drainage? They're here. This is bad. Looking for the follow loose smoke. Well. I've been a speedrunner for this game for a long time. I also did QA for downpour. If there's any questions you have, let me know. Never the Sinises to amaze me. How bad is Monk sub? I would assume it's probably. Huh? Did we die here? We did die here. I assume it's just bad as survivors. And likely has the red centipede. It's a few places with off screen deaths I figured out aren't actually that high. Just like certain locations where you have to take a pipe, you don't actually fall down, you mean? The new remix options should help a bit with the that one. There's a specific option for that. With the Can't even say the name now. Better bottomless pit indicators a lot of remix options are nice what's the deal about that i mean for the most part it's just that's how it is the you have to go through rooms that way it's that's such how the game is made Rooms have to be split up through actual rooms. You can't just fall between them. So that's just a, a limitation of the game itself. So there are going to be places like that. You just have to look for the gradient. Or otherwise, just be skeptical. Oh, I forgot it's four. Which is generally why I use the map a lot if I'm going to a place that I'm not sure if it's a death pit or not. Because it usually shows you a bit. Otherwise, I just don't try. So I have no death in here. The Metropolis area. Literally cannot. Although it seemed like they were working on it. It's just because how the area works. There is some places with death pits that are actually kind of unfair. Um, you can't tell. Because how the background is, they, it can't be done. Tro it's, it's literally just because of how the background is, it can't be done. From what I was told. I, it sounded like they were still working on it, but I don't know how far that's gone. Because you know, you I think you understand what the background looks like for those places. Calls for fifth layer. Going to non-room locations. The only thing that can kind of help you is the screen scroll mod. But making an entire region one giant room, no. You just gotta look out for that gradient at the bottom of the screen, or just be skeptical all the time. So there is the screen scroll mod, which instead of room transitions after you move close to an edge of a screen, um, the camera will actually follow you. Which seems like it can be a pretty buggy mod at times. They've done a lot to make it really good, but it's been a long time work in progress mod, but it's only for in a multi-screen room. Do you notice that not all the artwork is made perfectly connect, not the visual? Yeah. Yeah. But 
the camera was not unable to follow him. I'm not sure what you're referring to. Elusive smoke. Like, which runs did you actually watch? Survivor 8%? We're playing Monk now. I forgot to change the title. We just finished going to Outer Expanse as Survivor. Now we're doing it as Monk. Final video wasn't a speed run. Okay, not a lot of, because for speed runs, um, that doesn't really happen unless you're going above the screen, which still doesn't really happen, because it's not useful. It's not useful because everything you actually care about is inbounds. Start going fast. I have extended monk breath. I think. Not sure. That doesn't seem very helpful. It's probably the extra 20% that Monk should have had instead of negative, or it's like 10%, I don't know. Not too much, though. I saw preliminary votes for the, the remix options. People seem to not like Monk Breath. You either remember its name? Well, you came to specifically the only person that can answer that. It's called a guardian, and I made a YouTube video about it. <laughs> I can post that in a little bit if you want me to. It is 10 million health, and it is possible to kill them. Yes. Um, you're not killing them by conventional means. Does a singularity bomb actually kill them, though? That's the that's the question because you don't get credit for the kill when people throw them at them. Like, how much damage does a singularity bomb actually do? Because it doesn't seem like it actually kills them; it just stuns them really long. Yes. Are you saying for damage, or does it actually kill them? It does kill. Okay, but people don't get credit. For the kill afterwards it does yes damage it sounded like it was a kill function have a rain damage to the work yes that was the video that I created and I absolutely love that video messing with the thing not get crypto singularities I'm pretty sure you do, but it didn't give you credit for the Guardian kill, which I find super weird. Also, yes, there's a few ways to kill the Guardian. That was the more cinematic one, I have to say. Which is why I really liked it. Oh, it is he? Yes. absolutely love that video. I'm thinking about making some other ones. Probably not in the making you a special thing down your Twitch recommendation. Nice. That's cool. I'm showing up on Twitch recommendation now? Hmm. I've never had someone say that. Makes sense, though. Um, I am one of the more experienced people playing this game a lot. I was watching Scurry play Raid. That makes sense, too. The Scurry Raids have been nice. I am here for Twitch Amazing. Hello, Tola Tauli. How's it going? Found you up to guess. Cool. It's happening. Twitch is recommending. It's here. Thank you for the follow to Atali as well. Hello. Scurry makes Rain World less stressful. Yes, I can understand that. Because of Rain World, sir. Yes. So we talked there. 
Also kind of amazing. I think it's weird to watch Scurry play sometimes. Just some of the things they say don't make sense to me. But they know what they're doing. Even if they don't. That's more of just not being so used to the game as I am. I don't know what it's like to play as this game um, not as experienced as I am. Huge climb without being able to see the Guardian. So I originally... When we, I originally figured out how to kill the Guardian the first time, our method was to make the giant ladder, and I made the video for that giant ladder. However, we got better strats by then. Wait. They tried to do Survivor any percent? Yeah. And that's why Scurry stopped playing the game, base game. Don't do any percent. That's what we learned here today. Literally don't do it. I'm going to say that to everyone. Don't do any percent. Do pebbles. Maybe play downpour cats. It'll be more interesting. I don't know what this terrain looks like. Okay. But also that, that giant climb, um, you have to set up all the spears the cycle before, which I think that was the clip that I showed is just me setting them up and then the next cycle you go all the way guardian and do that then climb the giant spear ladder because it'll st all the spears will stay for two cycles and then they start falling off the wall which one is any percent any percent is to complete the game with any percentage of completion and it's the fastest category which everyone's like speed run oh it's fastest category let's do it and it's garbage because you have to do a glitch that has no feedback and learning it is really annoying um don't do it you can also do the the creature distraction which isn't that bad of a method to get by the guardians there's a space a room camera doesn't go there. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean by that. 15 second trivia Reynold stuff. I keep thinking about making something like that, but I don't know why people would find them that. I know what people would find them interesting, just um, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I know that most people don't and when people cover the topics they say it wrong <laughs> i've noticed there's a lot of wrong information it's like it's kind of right and it's cool but it's like why did you do it like that it's not good you didn't do it right like someone killed the hunter long leg uh as gourmand the clip was garbage they didn't know how to fight a dll um and they didn't know how to use Gord either too much. They did do well, but Curious Archive. Curious Archive is different because that's the the AI thing. I didn't. I've never watched their thing actually. I just know it's it's pretty good. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I'm talking about like very specific mechanics. You cannot fall off a map walking out of bounds. It stretches on forever. And if you're in a wall, you can climb up through the wall, which you might have seen in that video. Ending here, I realize. Yes. You might you might know the video I'm talking about with Gourmand. Um, never stab while tired as Gourmand. Period. Don't do it. <laughs> Literally don't do it. If I see you doing that, you're doing something wrong. Unless you're hitting a blue lizard or a scavenger, you don't throw a spear while tired. It does 0.25 damage. It might as well heal them. 
Let's be honest. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't stab them while tired. You do like three times damage when not tired. Let's use stun lock. Why are you in that situation? You've done something so terribly wrong if you're in that situation. That is, that is what I have to say. Being tired effect roll damage? I have no idea. Also, I don't remember this escaping centipede. Could work. Um, you're gonna have to try to stab like that, but don't go out of your way to do that. Also, if you're fighting a DLL, uh, use an explosive or don't fight them. That's what I have to say. It is impressive that they killed them without an explosive. But man, don't do that. Do not do that. They're, specific they're specifically weak to explosives. For a reason. For learning this map. Because I have no idea what this looks like. Oh my goodness. Pete stab it before you retire late. It dies instantly as a untired gourmand. Anyway. So you have no reason to do that. I don't know. I just see people do it repeatedly. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Give me a second. Yeah, I don't know if rolling or sliding damage changes. I don't even think you really slide. <laughs> Can you still stick a creature to the floor with the weak thing? Also, you should be able to. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to. The slups have been sent. Amazing. Going to bed. Have a good night. All right, thank you. Stab sand. Go burr. Hmm. I have something in my hand. Yeah. Go away. No. When people stop getting lost in filtration, I've never been here before. I have no memory of this place. <laughs> Please understand. Eat the chestnut thing. I don't know what they're called. Does anyone know what those things are called? The little egg things you have to break open? I don't actually have a name for them. Willy ducks? That's... Isn't that not what that is? Isn't that not what that is? This thing right there that's held up like with spider webs. Those are gooey ducks? I thought those were the old names of the yeeks. I've been lied to and cheated. I feel like you're all pranking me right now. He stole the thing. Also repel wormgrass. Maybe I am just crazy. I really okay, we're gonna we're gonna try if they do repel wormgrass. I can't see myself at all there. Code there called that. Okay, I really thought it was old yeeks. I have to be honest with you. We're gonna try repelling worm grass with them, because I'm always thought gooey ducks re repelling worm grass was a um I can't even say it. A yeek thing. Not a a thing. One functional goo ducky. hundred percent, yes. Yes. Mantra Kelp ate fruit. It made sense to me, but like... It never felt like they're supposed to do that, if that makes sense. Consume. Like, it never feels like that makes sense. Links are allowed in the chat? I don't know, but what are you linking? 
if you want to say what you're linking first. Geoducks? What are we talking about? Get through the stairs in the farmways again? Might be able to. It doesn't. It seems like it's just for. It's does. As I've been explained it, it just posts smoke for a moment. Reddit posts of out of bounds. Okay. Was not smoten by Nightbot, so it's found. So it's fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, that happens. So there, if you just slide down an edge all the way to the bottom. This is especially going to happen in Sky Islands. There's technically a plane down there you can stand on. If you tap down, you die instantly. But um, that's not actually a thing. I believe in this update, it's now an actual proper death plane, and you'll die 100% of the time. You also can no longer get back out like you used to, because if you stabbed in negative coordinates, it would put a, a physical spear in positive coordinates, which would make you automatically warp up out of the negative coordinates and could save you in a few locations, actually. Fungi with a strong smell that will firm the worm nest. Hmm. Interesting. It's a walkable surface in that location. If you press down at all, you will die instantly. That's what I'm going to say. You can walk along that surface all you want, but if you press down to any degree, you will die instantly. Is how that works. If you do not just slide against the wall all the way down, you will also die. You just let go and fall. But if you slide all the way down, you can walk around the bottom. And if you press down, you die. It's a very weird thing. I don't think that's current patch. But old patch would do that. So you could actually cross giant pits that way. It's kind of funny. Um, cool little videos like that could be cool. Also, yes, hello, theme park. I've been thinking of doing a creature series of how to deal with and understand creatures. But... Um, I've been getting busy with other stuff and also rather just stream in a lot of cases the thing I was going to do was an introduction to the mechanics of um, all the slug cats and a bunch of other kind of things and just introduction of what to expect melee only scab king win Mauling a mural's fault to the death with artificer. Um. No. Because. Mural's fault My only suggestion is to leave the room immediately. Or have a spear. To deal with them. Or have an explosive spear to deal with them. Or be artificer. And explode them down. And then stab them repeatedly. I guess those are the only ways you can beat them. Because you can't beat them normally. Because they really don't have a lot of mechanics you can exploit. At least not good enough mechanics. Find out why is the camera weak. Shows I mean hopefully... Well, it's, whenever it goes off screen... Um... Of that room... That's just a place you're supposed to die on. That you should be able to see your death when you fall to your death. I mean, depends on how you want to set that up. I get why you say that. Like, it would be way better, but that's just how the game is. It has to kind of be that way. Just of how rooms and the game loads. You can't have a surface to actually fall down on. And there's going to be arbitrary bottomless pits. That's just how the game has to be. Get away from them as soon as you can. Leave the room. Don't stay in the same room as them. Given how their stats work. Also, yes. Largest shelter ever. Hello, Codfishy. Going to sleep tonight? Alright, thank you.
continue following your dead body i'm not is there a mod to continue following your dead body no because there's no terrain down there to visually show that there is literally nothing down there there's nothing to show down there it's just off screen and that's kind of all any of us can say Unless you somehow made the game so the entire region is one giant room, which I don't, I don't know about that. How do you work? How do it work though? Hmm. And what may or may not be there. I... There's just nothing to be said. That's just how that is. It's like if you're playing Celeste. Same idea. It's just a bottomless pit. A game has to be a game sometimes. Assets cutting off, weirdly. I mean... I don't know how to, I don't know how to actually explain it. Just go with that. Oh, I don't have dev commentary on. I think I'm going to sleep. Alright. Good night. Escaping the confines of the game's reality. Mm. And full for the read. True. We're gonna go up this time. Don't want to touch that. Already seen it. But we're gonna go up now. You know, there will be Twitch integration again. I'm gonna go play Saint. Alright. Good luck. And goodbye. Below bedrock in Minecraft. Well, you might want to talk to modders about it and get their opinion about it. I, I can't say anything else because that's never been a consideration to me ever, being off screen. Rain World Discord. Set you up in a good place on modding support. Alright, goodbye. Start saving next stream. Just want to talk about it. I don't know what else to say. What do you want me to say? And those people would have more to say than me. Maybe. Maybe the same. It, it just, it literally, it's literally just it. It exists. There it is. You can fall off to your death because the game is limited. And how big rooms can be. We can't all have Jump King. Jump King isn't always real. I'm not going down there. Now there are invisible walls. Yeah, the invisible walls are weird. But that's fine. I love this song, by the way. I'm gonna say it every time it plays. Because this is the song that I would play in Monkland. There's nothing there. It's hard to do that, though. How do you do that? One of the more recent ones is funny. You think it wouldn't even be used still, huh? There's, there's a lot of really old tiles. Done by me. I mean, the 3D looks in the world, I'm gonna go. Yep. Then we can help me make some props, such as a 43 angle antenna you can find in the editor. 
bottomless pit in English. They weren't used as much as I planned, but they do exist. You find all the custom tiles we've made? No? I don't know how to say that. A lot of custom things, though. And it's very cool. Are the birds go off screen? Well, in terms of game logic or lore logic? Because birds, after a point, they might as well just go through a pipe that is off, off the ceiling. And at which point they can then choose where they show up next. Let's go left. It's an abstract version that moves around. Yep. Perfect explanation. Use those pipes, kinda. Oh, okay. You torture me, game. A blorzard. More, be even more curious about them pits. Continue walking on something, kind of. Asking things no one knows. I mean, it's it's just how it is. In a lot of cases, I'm not gonna worry too much about it. There we are. There's an up? <laughs> Mad about the limits of game. Hmm. Shelter. Pearl. Monkus. Monk powers activate. Den other for them. Yeah. There's a whole off-screen just idea for a lot of creatures. That being exists for scavengers. Vultures, deer, and leviathans, they all use off-screen, where deer use side things, scavengers use their own pipes, and then leviathans can use side and the bottom. <clears throat> go all the way around to Morrowind, but Morrowind isn't there. It's not real. Surely this will go well. Okay, that was scary. <clears throat> Had about that one. That's probably a good one to get. I don't know how many are in Outer Expanse. The wiki seems to be updating well, though. Leviathan that flies. Sounds like you do want it, though. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Modders well, can have that. Apollo Dodgeball. What? Look towards where Morrowind would be. Yes. This is terrible. Why do I want to jump that? Oh. Tapping must muster. Okay.
Just gray flat land in its place. Yes. Funny train jump. Out of bounds. Not too interesting. Just gonna buy a here. I love these lights so much. We'll say. Laurel. Don't know why they bloom when you get close and then close when you get closer. That's the one thing that's a little weird. It's shelter time. Ooh. Abducted. I think we've seen this one actually. But I often design with a shelter's intention. Hints to the shutters. Thank you for the subscribe evil blah emote time many reworks gave the room a clean makeover yes now you can emote this is behind the scenes stuff yes will made quite a lot of the rooms How do you lock dev commentary? Either you complete all of the challenges, or you just use the cheat thing. Quite a lot is understating it. Yes. Will did many things. Let's put it that way. Will did more than they should have. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Andrew had to stop him. Legitimately. And that's also reflected in the dev comments, actually. A full region for Bitter Eerie. That was the thing they had to be stopped for, yeah. That's the one thing that exists as a place we haven't really been to that we could go to. Director's cut. It doesn't exist right now. Long as I've seen direct in development for since 1.5 released was when the current mod version was being worked on. However, there was a 1.01 mod that was the MSC Cats originally, and it was just the Cats. It wasn't anything too much more. No rooms, at least. Um, I don't know how long that is. I hear a thing. Fell over. I like this bridge. Always, always. Life is plagued by my original style of making rooms. I would try to do too much as one, make every single one very special. And Orlando does feel like that. Treating everyone like someone be able to jam. The truth is that regions are big. It's something, something special. Every screen is exhausting. Yeah. This whole section's crazy, though. You need space for the room to breathe. Rooms that feel like they belong, but aren't putting on a show. Still, I did Pipe Yard in Route 2, which is one of the mod 
routes they did. I haven't played the second one, I played the first one though. I fully understand the balance for rooms. Big redesign binge after that, trying to fix the things that might have felt it would do more harm than good. Limits to what you can change when working on a team. Some liked it that way, yeah. And then there were regions. I'm sure happened that others, others enjoy every one of them. And they a bit derpy, a bit trying too hard sometimes because it's a personality. Which makes sense for Will, because Will does a lot. Makes from the style of your region. Just make good filler if you find a place for them. Brain World does make it easy to make mod. Easy in quotes, but possible compared to other games. It's probably the best way to put it. We don't have pups this time, so it's not as bad. I don't remember what this way is like. Zero built, zero built in, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. C++, by the way. Uh, C sharp, by the way, I mean. Muscle memory for it. It sounded like they've made some things to make it a bit better. The modding community in general. I want to see this way first. I thought so. I like this spot. Artwork was a blast. Exploring a suspended railway I knew it had to be the center place of the artwork. However, I also wanted a feeling of vastness and freedom. I've never really talked to Norgrad. Settled by having the railway be in the far distance with temples of exotic plants taking up the foreground. Okay, I thought there'd be another line. This is this room. Kinda looks like you can go down. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I can use Yeeks this time. Jump man. I landed on him. Intrigue got more planning compared to ours. Oh, he was always on the back burner in some way while both of Moon structures were planned and replanned. Do you like the idea of a cathedral out here? To OE was a break from doing a larger, more intricate region. Kind of a good thing always. Guiding principle is mostly keep going west until a civilization seems to fall away. That would be all cohesive it became, progressing 
from interlike like wall structure through a swamp, broken machinery over a bridge, an ancient ruins, a jungle, and to a world beyond. I think it did work out really well. Oh, nice sub notification animation. Uh, didn't you post that? Don't you have to do that? Oh, the the other animation. Yeah, never mind. Yes. All came together. That was one of the things Will made. Shelter? Didn't know there was one there. That was pretty good. Let's go left, Let's go right. So created as a sort of parallel to lantern mice. Yes, mark our destination of distance from five bubbles. Extremely rare in base game or appear in specific subcats later in the timeline. Yes. Core reason for this to make them feel exotic. The like creature is migrating. So they merge with the ecosystem beneath five pebbles and moon. Yeek lore. The Yeeks won. Added late in development in response to Tessa's disappointment, inability to hold them. Must hold them. And they could grab one in the next step, they got even more, but they're jumping me. Yeah. I didn't know till the game released. <laughs> Personally. Lifter mice inspired them because of their color scheme, and yet scabs kill yeeks, though. Hamburger. Scabs literally kill yeeks on purpose. Contained. Unlock. Yeeking. Personality values, some wouldn't. Pretty sure, yes. Had to be aggressive. I know where we are. I do love the rain with the, the sunshine. It really does make this place look really good. Move. 
Riven Saint. Yeah. Closes on Riv. Is there Knight in this region? I don't actually know. I have never attempted. That you just grabbed a thing. So it's only open for um, Gorge, Monk, and Survivor. If that makes sense. Like, the timer ends. Oh, there is night. I remember. I remember now. I only ever experienced it for a small period of time. I wonder how different the spawn changes. Well, ooh, jump back out. You do it. I believe. That looks dangerous. <laughs> the scary land. Lamb turn. We'll try to stay till end of cycle. Thought I went out of bounds for a second there. There's like one big spider at nighttime. Very scary. I don't need to eat. I've been full. Jump. Please. Huh? Do the thing? Did the yeek drown? This one? No. Oh, he's got leeches on him. What? Why didn't that visibly slow show a second ago? He's very sleepy. Where did he get those guys on? Is that actually a pipe up there? No. I gotta go to, down to the right here. Originally, when all we was going to have NPC slug and slug bikes regularly roaming about the region, there was going to be Tywin with Artificer's Void Sea ending. Okay. A lot of void spawn voting around the deeper parts of the region, similar to the shaded settle with void spawn bubbles situated throughout the area. Came out to Gormon after clearing a voice the ending to find crimson colored void spawn bubble. Huh. To release the void spawn, which could then be spotted throughout the region layer following the various slug pups around. I got thrown out when we scaled back our ideas for NPC slug cats, however. So I didn't want to introduce the implication that Artificer transformed into a void spawn after the ending, because that is kind of weird. I didn't know the lore implications of that, nor how any of the void stuff really works. <laughs> True. None of us have any idea what we're doing. <laughs> also, Andrew, make Saint. I mean, it makes enough sense to me. Saint's idea is very simple.
Doesn't really matter if it makes sense, either. I like this room. There's something about it. It's got weird sharp edges. That I don't like. On these pipes. So I left that in. I don't think they actually were able to figure out how to do it, though. Oh wait, I forgot. We're supposed to supposed to go to submerged as monk. We'll do that after. Party echo. I feel like that's not what happens though. Yeah, I'll check that room. Kill. <laughs> Only finished Survivor, so I have a way to go. Well, try not to listen to anything we say about Saint. Um, and try to avoid Saint spoilers. Everything else, kind of don't worry about too much, but... Saint, though. the cloak? Yes. We'll do that later. <sighs> it's scary. The scary time is here. Infinite for Monk? Pretty sure no. But you can do it. Monk has better breath if you have the settings on one and two. Um, you can you can still do submerged. You can you can do it. It's just the entrance to it that's annoying. Pretty sure originally this ambience that we're hearing is unused. Might be wrong. I, I feel like I don't remember. Dark OE might be painful. I'm okay with it. There's lanterns everywhere. Also, it should be cool looking. This is cool. This is less cool. <laughs> Where am I? It'll get brighter after a point. Just because of how things work. The flowers look scary. That yeek is dead. Flowers look like eyeballs. Monkey with an aneurysm. The man glows in the dark. Look at him. As it goes over here, we're exploring outer expanse at night. Hello, Leon. You should stab them? No. Would you recommend Hunter, Artie, or Gord? Hunter is a roguelike. Artie is pure combat, but you're not on a... Your entire run will fail level. Made Rain Roll Cell Badge is cool. Um, Gord is a more chill experience, but can be quite annoying. On the... You have to slow... You really have to slow down and take your time. And do more stuff on planning level. Both Hunter and Artie are fairly direct in what you need to do. Artie has every... No thought. Every Artie has every tool they need to fight everything. As If you play Gord, remember to stand still. 
to become no longer tired. This worked out well. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, that could have been bad. If we were in the water when he got shocked, I think we also would have died. That man glow. Worm grass radioactive, real. It's a big difficulty spike. All of them are going to be a difficulty spike. All of them. But Gord is going to be weird. Because you are strange. And slow. What is this music I'm hearing? Why are they green? Unlock. What is this music I'm hearing right now? I don't remember this. Please die to the worm grass for no reason. Home doing things. Wormgrass was a mistake. True. They made deer happen. Wormgrass is the only thing you truly cannot counter. Now I'm playing him at... Good choice. New Hitman stuff seems really good. I am going to say. Please die. Please die to it. Come on. You can do it. I've never played Hitman, but I've wanted to for a long time, and I've been watching Moon Moon. Freelancer looks like the thing to play. Oh, goodness. Hunter easy? Not necessarily. Why? Why what? Freelancer is Hunter for Hitman? Yes. Is there still Dropwick here? I had to die on purpose to fail as Hunter. Checking for Dropwick. Because this is a scary situation. The centipedes are dark. place has a very different feeling right now. How is Iggy even here? This looks like Pebbles Iggy. Oh, they're both here. That is weird. But having a timer is scary. It's all about having a plan at the end of the day. Top the tree looks like at night. I think I that was the only place I saw in night. Oh, plant threat theme of death. Why didn't that fill in? That's weird. Mm -hmm. Monk. Should we save? Is this shelter broken or something? Huh? I'm not gonna try, but I think I'm gonna not save. Natural spawning drop wigs as monk is fun. 
We do have to go back this way, past the dropway. For anyone? I just used it as survivor when we were here. Why are you there? You think if I'm underwater, he can see me? No. Interesting. Maybe darkness changed things? This is an experience right now. All these different ambiences you're walking by. I like that. Hello, Snipey. We are in the dark land of glowing grass. We have a spear this time. Water time. The grass is literally greener on the other side. Oh, amazing. Hmm. Water time. Wow. Oh, it's dark, huh? There's a centipede that can kill me here. Is that the big one? I don't know sizes. Hello? Maybe. We're just gonna go to the shelter. Oh, I kinda wanna stay up while it's dark. Oh, it's so cool looking. We need to get to the top of this tree. Okay, don't hear noises. Gonna assume there's nothing there. Oh! I've never really looked at the orb before. Hmm. Reminiscence playing in dark sounds incredible. Should ponder. Pondering my gorb. Is the orb even made of? Why is it spinning? I don't know. There's something. I mean, you can say whatever you want. But... Hangs light to be seen from here. There's too many clouds. Do you think the clouds gonna actually move out of the way? It might actually. There it goes. <laughs> you can. That's cool. I like that. It's green. It's very well done. I really like that. Is that the wall? I've never really thought about that. There's lights coming out of it.
wall ball from here? Is the wall ball there? Oh, it's way off to the left, if that's what you're referring to. Way off on the side of the screen. Two giant orbs there? Is that the leg, then, that we're looking at with the lights on it? I don't know. I guess you're right, thinking about it. Must have been the model. I would assume this is an actual 3D model. Oang from Oangus. I do kind of want to talk to them at some point on what they do for 3D modeling stuff. The artist for months to do this single screen, lots of adjustments. Interesting. I don't think I've talked to Will about this screen, but that would make sense. Look like they're changing shape. I don't know how clouds work either, really. If you really look at it, I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know. Probably a shader, yeah. Game do be doing a lot of shaders. I like got you can see the ball underneath as well. see all the way at the bottom in that little corridor right now. Big bells, balls. Don't look at them. They're not real. No. There are bad men in the area. Throw yourself. There's a big man. I actually don't know. I can't see him at all. Uh. Don't just get stabbed? What was that noise? Cormon's true ending plea to the food tracker triggered the later events of Survivor and Monk. Spoilers. For a board. I'm gonna ask they all congregate and live in an area for a while, but they're only moving in mass. Promise of better food and resources. Come to come back with tales of a large variety of foods he found beyond the bounds of their current territory. Slug that's been prepared for big migration. Fire monks intro takes place during the migration. They get separated from their family while traveling away from their old home. It's also why going back to the tree later in the time when you find it abandoned. You saw the pups you find during survivor's campaign. Also, poor children got severed and left behind in that process. Nice.
Back to right, back flip. So I go. What's the thought I am? Ooh, words. Yes, it's just, yeah, it's you have to go a certain distance to actually get the turn, and then just jump during it. You'll get it over time. Um, being able to throw down, of course, is very important. Put the spear in the ground like that. The time skip isn't real. Time isn't real. Oh wait, we're here. Always ready to throw down. And it's night time now. I'm not moving. Hello? Using this music, huh? Oh. Oh. It did the thing. Monkus. <laughs> During the time skip. Makes no sense if you don't get to how do they generate them. Um, I'm pretty sure that ending changes. I've heard the endings change depending on how many pups you bring there. We just brought two there in our thing when we just finished the survivor one. So if we bring one or none, I would assume it would update accordingly, is what I've heard. Doesn't sell them into the survivor as two of Okay. Does the survivor cutscene change though? Okay. I guess that makes sense. It's hard to track the monk one for the monk one then. So I might change clothing. Okay. Here one two. That's cool. Wait a second. Oh, this is for Akafara. I was gonna say there's other other ones and more slug cats. I don't know who Zygnar is. Hmm. It's been a lot of different portraits made for characters. That makes sense. Yeah, I didn't know Bwark tested at all. I find it weird.
All right, it's bedtime for me. Good night. All right. I remember them testing, actually. Okay. I mean, I was around the latest of everyone else. I just find it surprising that they weren't around the whole time. Friends sheltered? When? <laughs> Literally when? Why do I have an 8 there? When did that happen? Upload videos of the beta? Okay. Didn't know that. Beta recently or back a while ago? Double creature. Banana. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no longer there. Okay. These are good. That's so much just fit. Don't call it very well. Okay. Alright. It's been four hours. Um, I think I might stop stream today, too. I was thinking about doing Pain Cat. Maybe we don't. It looks like someone's finishing the game right now. Don't know about sending it to them. Hello, Drano Lane. I will be streaming tomorrow. We're doing 3D modeling tomorrow. Um, probably gonna start with Pain Cat though. Crab Champions actually exists now as a game you can play. Who decided that? Literally who? All right. Let me check something. This is always the worst part, because there's always not that many people streaming right now. <laughs> Why is it gotta be 1 a.m.? <laughs> Why are you even awake, Cyril? Stop doing that. <laughs> to give you bread, okay. All right, I think we're going to raid the person who made the program that we're using right now for the throwables. How does that sound? I don't know exactly what they're doing. I'm still in the wrong thing. Don't feel like you need to go through the raid if you don't want to. It looks like right now they're just hanging out, messing with some of the programs they have while they think about playing a game in a second. So the program I use for the throwables is called Meeps. I make some custom things for it, specifically that are Rain World themed with it. 
Um, they specifically made the program. And at the time, it was the only program that really did something like that, where you could make your own throwables. And I thought it was really good. Um, there's a few out now that it has to compete with. Hmm. That's still the one that I use. Don't feel like you guys need to go with the raid if you don't want to. I am going to go to bed, and then tomorrow will be Pain Cat and 3D Modeling Stream. And we'll try to do it kind of fast. Um, and not go too crazy with it. Alright, I'm going to press raid now, right now. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.